This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the relationship between the cell potential and Gibbs free energy. The change in Gibbs free energy is related to the cell potential in this equation, where n is the moles of electrons transferred in the reaction and f is the Faraday constant. Here we have the relationship between the cell potential, the Gibbs free energy and the spontaneity of a reaction. If the cell potential is positive, the change in Gibbs free energy will be negative and the reaction will be spontaneous. If the cell potential is negative, the change in Gibbs free energy will be positive and the reaction will be non-spontaneous. If the cell potential is zero, the change in Gibbs free energy will also be zero and the reaction is at equilibrium. Let's look at an example. In the previous video, we calculated the cell potential for this reaction and we got a cell potential value of positive 1.10 volts. Next, we'll use this equation to calculate the change in Gibbs free energy. The moles of electrons transferred in the reaction is two. The Faraday constant has a value of 96,500 and the cell potential is positive 1.10. This gives us a change in Gibbs free energy of negative 212 kilojoules. A negative value for the change in Gibbs free energy indicates the reaction is spontaneous. Let's have a look at one more example. In the previous video, we calculated the cell potential for this reaction and we got a value of negative 0.93 volts. Once again, we'll calculate the change in Gibbs free energy using this equation. So we have two moles of electrons transferred in the reaction. We multiply by the Faraday constant and then we multiply by the negative value for the cell potential. This gives us a change in Gibbs free energy of positive 179 kilojoules. A positive value for the Gibbs free energy indicates the reaction is non-spontaneous.